launch our program called MUST, Minimum Unanimous Surpassable Targets, with a 33 month target to conclude by March 2003. Often, we as organizational chiefs perceive a large canvas of things and issues that pertain to the organization development. However, this canvas tends to get too abstract for an average employee. To make this large canvas of ideas and action plans palatable and digestible for my employees, I usually break it up into small bits and pieces with some acronyms defining the areas of focus. The effort here is to keep these acronyms simple and catchy in the hope that they will have the instant recall of a well-crafted ad. MUST was one of such several acronyms that I made up. These have had a mixed rate of success. In 90 to 93, we had our hip hip year or high performance, high perfection year, which turned out to be great success. The 1994-95 year was called the year of commitment because after our IPO, our responsibility and ad and commitments to our investors then had increased multifold. This too had proved a success. But the leap year and the together we will slogans for the following years 95, 96 and 97 respectively had turned out to be empty rhetoric as the organization performance had gone down instead of up. As for must, we would have to wait and watch to know its fate. My habit of making these acronyms to drive people is a long standing joke in the company. Nevertheless, these acronyms have each served the purpose of unifying us all, lending us a community focus and hammering out mission statements home. Alongside the MUST program, I had launched the concept of Cross Value Edition, the GVA. This was to prove the most innovative of our approaches to measuring our operating performance as shifted the focus from top line to the bottom line. Concept of GVA, Gross Value Edition, where the focus came on bottom line or the contribution analysis which helps to achieve higher profit than just the top line. For example, if I do a big job, say a tank, tank will have low margin but high top line. It is of not much interest to us. What it should be that the item should have inbuilt value addition because of technology, because of design and then that focus of getting a higher GVA. And then I took this GVA concept further uh, forward for GVA per employee, GVA target, and that also in the dollar terms. We started with the GVA of $30,000 per person per year, and we wanted to reach a level of almost a lakh, that is $100,000 per year per person. And I was happy that slowly the numbers started rising and we went up to as high as almost $80,000 per year before we really had to go for the next level of performance parameters.